How's it going everyone? My name is Exotic Gaming and welcome back to yet again another Pixel Gun 3D video. Today's video is another weapon review, another review on one of the most recent weapons added into this game just a couple of days ago in the 12.6.0 update. This weapon is the Hedgehog and oh is it cool. Now before we actually get into today's review, there's one thing I would like to note. Every single day this week, I will be uploading two videos. So this next week is going to be the most active week ever on this channel. So make sure to check back every single day to see what new videos I have posted because all of them are going to be awesome. With that being said though, make sure to leave a like for a super active week and for an awesome weapon review, and let's get into this. Jumping into the armory section, heading over to the special section here, we can see the hedgehog in all of its glory. It looks really, really cool, and honestly, it kind of has a resemblance of a hedgehog in and of itself. It looks like it has spikes on it, even though it doesn't. It kind of has like that spiky texture and kind of reminds you of what a hedgehog looks like. Of course, it has its efficiency of 25 at max, it has an 80 firing rate, which is pretty decent, a 10 capacity, a 12 weight, it also has sticky mines, contact detonation, and bleeding, and it also has looping shots, which for some reason they haven't incorporated. So it has a lot of cool, interesting features all combined together to make it one of the best special weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. And what we are going to do right now is jump into a close range map, and, and I'm going to show you guys exactly that. What I'm going to probably do is jump into maybe Silent School, although if there is another map available that would be great. It looks like there really isn't, so I am going to just jump into this Silent School match here and show you guys just how powerful this weapon actually is. It looks a lot different actually in first person mode compared to how it is in the shop menu. It looks a lot smaller here in first person mode, but then again I'm not really complaining because I mean, as you all can see, it is an absolute beast. This thing a lot of times is going to be a one-shot kill, and that's because this weapon directly on impact isn't a one-shot kill, but with that bleeding effect, it will in no time at all destroy the enemy player. The cool thing is when you shoot this weapon, it will stick wherever it hits. It's that sticky mine, and it's kind of like a spike that appears. As you can see, the spikes just appear on the wall and it's so cool and when a player gets close to that spike it will blow that player up and it's a really really cool design that I think they've incorporated very well into this game. Now that it has that with the bleeding effect I mean it's it's freaking awesome I mean having this with the bleeding effect makes it one of the most unique and powerful weapons in the special section. I mean, as you guys have seen just there in that first match, I got so many kills in such a short amount of time, but the thing is that's normal for this weapon. You jump into Silent School, you jump into Pool Party, you jump into Coliseum, you even jump into Stadium if you're lucky and you can manage to get some shots on people flying through the air. You're gonna get so many kills in such a short amount of time and it's awesome. That's really the only way I can put it. So hopefully I can find myself another close ranged map here. We can go into Coliseum. This is another good map for this weapon. And you can get so many kills guys and it's just it's freaking awesome I can't get over how good this weapon is it's basically very similar to the kaboom and the toy bomber but also the demo man all just kind of mixed together to make one fantastic weapon and I mean it's just such a unique gun it takes different features from other guns and puts it together to make it just a very very solid area damage weapon in the special section you can use this weapon the entire length of a match in a close range map and win in that match and you can get amazing kill streaks in the process. You guys can see right there, instantaneous multi kill, no problem whatsoever. And that is very common for a weapon like this. There was another example of that bleeding effect. I got a kill on somebody after the fact that I shot him. The bleeding effect is a very, very good effect to have on this weapon, and it works very, very well. As you can see, these mines are everywhere, and when people step too close, well, they're gonna have a pretty bad day when they end up getting killed by that. So I basically need to kinda just place mines near to where enemies would be, and they're going to be in a pretty bad situation if they happen to walk too close. And they don't even really need to, to walk directly on top of the mines as long as they get close then that's really all they need to do and then you can get those kills just left 
and writes so many of them and it's just freaking wonderful. It's not as bad of a spamming weapon. It is a sort of spamming weapon, I guess you could say, but if I was to compare it to some of the other ones in this game, I'd say it's not as bad, and that's why I don't really get annoyed about this weapon as much. If you were to compare this weapon with something like the Toy Bomber, or the Kaboom, or even the other kind of spamming weapon in this game from the most recent update, the Slingshot Grenade type thing, the uh, Bomber Slinger, I believe it's called, it's really not something that you're going to get mad at, per se, so that's good. If you're a player and you want to use a weapon that really, it's not going to make too many other people mad, if you're concerned about the well-being of the other Pixel Gun 3D players, then you don't really have to worry about any of that when you use this weapon. I don't really mind if I see somebody else using this weapon, it's just a very good, solid, special weapon that's a lot of fun when using. I really like the design, honestly, more than anything, of how the little, <laughs> the little spikes just pop out of nowhere and then just destroy people like that instantly instantaneously it's a really cool feature and they kind of just pop out of nowhere on the ground I mean that's that's the base the best way I can describe it they just pop out of nowhere on the ground and they just appear and then the people are in for a very bad day if they walk on top of it it's really cool and I mean as you guys can see very very powerful now they do have a, a sort of time limit they're not gonna sit there indefinitely so they will automatically end up exploding over time but generally somebody is going to walk over it especially in a close range map like this before you run out of that time limit for your little grenade. I believe there's like a certain limit to how many grenades you have on the ground. Um, if you probably shoot more than five or six on the ground, it's going to delete whatever the first one was and then end up giving you the other one. So as you guys can see here, some of them are still there, but over time they will end up disappearing. And then, well, you're going to be able to get uh, even more kills with some of the weapons that you're first shooting from, uh, or from some of the mines, I should say, that you're first shooting from this. But I mean, look at how many kills I've gotten in this match, guys. I've just gotten so many, left and right, no problem whatsoever. I can easily win in these matches, and it's great. It's wonderful. It's a lot of fun, and it is definitely something that I would recommend you guys to get. I cannot stress it enough. This weapon is good. That's basically what it comes down to. It is good. So as you all could see there, easily got 25 kills. That is regular for this thing. The Hedgehog is one of the best special weapons in Pixel Gun 3D, and arguably for the area damage effect that it has, it's one of the best area damage weapons, period, in this game. If you were to compare this with other weapons in this game, even ones in the heavy section, it's one of the best ones out there, so you're going to have pretty much your ultimate Pixel Gun 3D weapon right here if you do purchase it. I really, really like this thing a lot, and out of every weapon in the special section, at least right now in this most recent update, this is probably the one I'm going to be using the most, because I mean, as you guys can see, I can just get so many kills, and they're, you know, they're somewhat skill-based, because you have to, you know, you have that looping effect, you do have that travel time when you do shoot at somebody from range, and then it does have that mine that sticks on the ground, and it's going to take a second before somebody ends up walking over it, and that person can avoid the mine if they don't get directly hit by that thing. If they see it on the ground, they can easily run away from it. But then again, you know, most people don't even bother to run away from it. They just decide to go for it. Suicide mission, and then they end up dying from your mine. And then you can get so many kills from this thing in a very, very short amount of time. We're gonna go see at the end of this video how many kills we actually get in total. I got like 25 that match. I got like seven or eight in that first Silent School match. Um, maybe we can get over 50 by the end of this video. And I've only done that a couple of other times in the history of my weapon review series. I think one of the weapons that I got like 50 plus was the Santa Sword and the melee section and then a couple of other ones. But uh, you know, this is one of your best weapons out there in Pixel Gun 3D. And I mean, as you guys can see, no problem at all getting kill after kill after kill against these guys. It is, it's freaking awesome. It's great, it's wonderful. These people, they stand no chance against my mighty hedgehog. Coliseum is your ultimate map for this weapon. Again, I mean, as you guys can see, you, you don't really want people to be too far away because with that looping effect, it's gonna get difficult to hit people at range. You're gonna have to aim very far above where they are and that way you can actually hit them. I'm not entirely sure if it does. I think it does have that headshot ability, so you do want to try to get headshots with this thing. Um, I mean, as you guys can see right there, easy kills left and right with this thing. And uh, as long as you're pretty close to your enemies, you're gonna have a pretty easy time getting them. The closer you are to them, the less travel time this thing has, the less looping shot this thing has, and it's going to be easier and easier to kill players with it. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's uh, the hedgehog for you guys. In the special section, 
action. It's I forgot how how much it was. I think it was the most expensive weapon of this update. I think it was around 160 gems, but I mean, I'd say it's worth it if you were willing to spend 160 60 gems in this game. This is a good thing to get. I would not recommend anything other than this in the special section. Obviously, there are several other weapons in the special section that might be just slightly better than this one. But, uh, you know, if you combine compare this to maybe the Toxic Bane, I'd say this is better than the Toxic Bane. If you combine this, or you compare this, I keep saying combined for some reason. If you compare this with some of the laser type of weapons in the special section, it might just just be better. You never really know. And with that bleeding effect, it's such a good effect that you can really just take people out without even directly hitting them sometimes. You can just hit the ground, let them walk over the mine, and then have the burn finish them off. You can get some really, really cool kills with this thing, and it's great. So, overall, if I was to rate this weapon from 1 to 10 in the special section, I'd give this weapon a 9 to a 9.5. Maybe even, uh, it's it's close to a 10. It, it's it's about as close as you can get to a 10 in the special section in Pixel Gun 3D. It is a very, very solid weapon, and I definitely would recommend getting this thing. It is a very powerful weapon, it's very reliable, and at close range, you are going to get a lot of kills in a very short amount of time, as you all can see right here in this video. I'm having no shortage of kills right Right now and uh, that is what's going to happen to you if you are lucky enough to get this hedgehog here but um, is it the absolute greatest weapon in the special section I'm not entirely sure there are a couple of other weapons in the game in general that are better so if you compare this thing with some of the sniper rifles obviously they are going to be better than this one you compare this with the ghost lantern it's obviously going to be better than this one and for the weapons of this update I'd say it's probably the best one of this update so far close it's close with some of the other ones they are pretty close to this but I'd say most likely it is it's close to being the best weapon of this update it's a little difficult to say between this one and the future sniper rifle I mean as you guys can see that's another very powerful weapon weapon, but we're going to review that one in just a couple of days, so stay tuned for when that does post. But that's basically it. Yeah, 9.5 out of 10 for this thing. Very, very good. Definitely recommend getting it. Big blast radius, and it's a very, very unique weapon. Um, definitely recommend getting it. So yeah, that's basically it. That's it for this little review here. Like I said, I have videos posted every single day this week, so keep tuning back in for when I post these videos. I have one Pixel Gun video a day, and then one of other games a day. And I gotta say, these other games are really, really cool. If you want to know a game that's kind of like Pixel Gun in Battlefield, if you ever had the sudden urge to want to fly a helicopter in Pixel Gun 3D, well, there's a video that I titled Pixel Gun 3D Plus Battlefield, and in that video, I uh, showed you guys a game where you can do that. So you can drive tanks, you can drive helicopters, you can drive other vehicles, and you can use really cool weapons in that game. So check that out. Um, and then check out my other weapon reviews that I am going to be posting over the next couple of days. The Core Sword will be uploaded in just a couple of days, the Future Sniper Rifle and the Invader, and uh, I've already posted the um, Bomber Slinger, so if you guys haven't checked that out, highly recommend you guys to do so. I'll link it down below at the top of the description, but with that being said, that is basically it. I am probably not going to wait till the end of this match here, but we are going to get just a couple of kills more, and we're going to see how many kills we actually got at the very end there. I, I've gotten a lot of pet knockouts as well, because pets do end up walking over the little mines themselves, so you can get a lot of pet knockouts as well, and just really rack up your score a lot in this game, and uh, get some amazing kills in the process. It's um, very, very, very good weapon in Pixel Gun 3D, so... Um... I don't really have anything else to say. I, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, then I would really, really appreciate it a lot if you left a like. It shows your support to the channel. It lets me know that you guys want to continue seeing videos on this channel. And if this is the very first video you are watching on my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribed because I have a lot more Pixel Gun 3D content and other games that you will definitely enjoy seeing on this channel. I mean, I have so many different videos, it's ridiculous. Can I get a multi-kill? Dang it! I mean, a monster kill. I haven't gotten a monster kill. Don't think I'm going to get a monster kill in this video. I can try. Let's see if we can actually get a monster kill in this video. Uh, if I don't get it, like, right here, right now, it's probably not going to happen, but, uh... Yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult, at least for me, to get monster kills because usually most people are using those ridiculous one-shot kill weapons and uh, it's basically impossible to do that. But yeah, we'll just see how many kills we've gotten here right after we kill Chester9657 or the other guy, Rolex, I don't really remember. We have gotten in total 
We got 21 kills so far, and we still have 41 seconds remaining. We could probably get upwards of 35 kills in this match, and that's just in one match. So 35 plus 25, that is 60 kills right there, plus those 8, that's 68, and then the other 19. So, guys, this we might have gotten more kills in this video than ever before. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and with that being said, that's basically it. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode.